So hey guys, it's about 5.30, uh, August 24th on a Monday. Uh, about 85 degrees here this evening. Had a lot of rain the past few days off and on. Um, so a couple of things to um, update you since the last video. If you remember, we put a uh, unmated queen in here out of, out of uh, this hive. And uh, in the process, uh, about four days ago noticed robbing going on there was a a frame of brood and bees in here and then a full frame of capped honey and bees were coming in and robbing this hive so we put on um, a robbing screen basically uh, this just keeps bees from going directly in they have to go up and in robber bees don't do that they like to go straight in the bees that live in this hive learn as they come out that they have to come up and out so that should keep the robbing under control and hopefully our queen will be made it soon if she's not already you notice i removed the the bucket of uh sugar water from this hive and placed it over here because they had gotten robbed of all their honey so hopefully these bees will be able to get some of the sugar water and uh, have some food there because there are not many foragers there. I first suspected that the robbing was coming from this hive, but I just couldn't be sure, and I even saw a few signs of robbing at this hive. So I um, decided to put a little screen here uh, to decrease the entrance, decrease the entrance, but at the same time keep airflow coming into this hive. And you can see they've even wax down this a little bit here uh, so that's a good sign so it's been about 10 days since we've been in this hive so we're going to do an inspection on this hive today leaving this hive along for another seven days um, a week from today we can go in and hopefully the queen will be mated and we'll go from there so let's see uh, let's see how these this hive is doing today yeah so we had six hive beetles here Bees are pretty calm. Let's be sure the queen's not up here by some chance. Nope. All's oh, looking good. All right. So let's see here. We've got one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe. Six high beetles, and we killed about five there let's see about this one all right so just one there wow that's a, a big improvement uh again i hope the lack of high beetles in here means that the numbers are going down and not that uh, they've uh, figured it out but uh yeah so that's that's awesome has a little weight to it i think they put nectar in here let's see see i got some capped capped honey on this that's good storing up for the winter and the fall that's great huh, and there's our queen wow look at that did not expect to see her there she's going to try to lay a little bit here i guess I've seen this queen in the honey area before. All right, so this is the frame that I gave them to replace the one I took to make the split. Uh, so I'm kind of looking here. Looks like I've got mostly nectar put in here. I had some repairs to make on the comb. I'd say this was foundationless. Looking to see if you're cleaning, it looks like maybe just cleaning it up and
nice frame of bees here look at that really keeping that brood warm it looks good Nice full frame of brood there. See a high beetle there. Try to get him. Oh, lots of eggs and larvae here. Queen has been laying here. Yeah, eggs and larvae here look good. Nice, nice pattern. Let's see if I can, if you can see them in there. Hopefully you can see that. Okay, so this is a little something I've never done before. This frame that's foundationless, it's, it's broken or loose there. Didn't handle it carefully. We'll try putting a rubber band around it and kind of help keep it stable. So we'll see how this goes. So I've never done this before. Usually you do this before the bees get on it. You're really calm right now, but man, I hope this doesn't break. So they're being really forgiving. Uh, had a couple come after me. Let's see. Come. We'll have to smoke them here. They're getting a little noisy. And that's totally, totally understandable. I don't fault them at all. Get these guys back in here. these out of the way here so I've got my beetle blaster trap back in I've got my swiffer sheets in all right so they'll be good for another seven days at that time, we'll check them, and then we'll also see how our queen is doing. Uh, hopefully, she's made it, and uh, we'll have two hives to take through the winter. So, that's good. They, we've got honey and pollen and nectar being stored in here. The queen is laying. We've got brood and eggs in there. Put her back in the hive. Doing great. So, here we go. See you next week.